Morning, morning, monsters. How are you all doing this morning? Mm. Oh, that's still hot, hot. But it is that sweet, sweet caffeine. I'm going to confess, I have spent most of the weekend on a project that has been the most frustrating of frustrating projects. It'll continue, and I'm still very enthused about it. But it did remind me why Dreams is actually so bloody marvellous. You will know I have a slight VR chat addiction. And by slight, I mean it's getting kind of serious. Like, just a little bit kind of serious. <laughs> I mean, it's not a problem. But it is where I choose to spend my free time when I have any. And I can stomach standing up and interacting with people. It's fantastic. There's two things I'm obsessed with. One, full body tracking. I am going to end up buying pucks, but I'm also going to end up doing a whole bunch of hardware hacking because every time I sit down in VR chat and my legs don't do what I'm doing, it, it gets to me. It really gets to me. It gets to me way more than it should because I'm like, oh, I'm sitting cross-legged or whatever, and then my avatar doesn't do it. Don't know why. But it bugs me. It's like people are like, I want to get full body to dance around and do crazy stuff. I'm like, I just want to sit and my legs to be where they are. Because it's almost like it's a gay meme, but it's one of these things of gay people sit funny. I didn't notice it until TikTok meme pulled it, pointed it out like two years ago. We sit funny. So there's that. And then the other thing is I just desperately want to make an avatar that is 100% mine. And so hence the mission began to make myself an avatar. And of course, of course, I have enough money and I have enough sort of sense to know that the smart way to do this is just to hire an artist, get them to make a wonderful thing with their wonderful talents, and then, you know, use that. There are some wonderful VR chat avatar artists. But then I was like, yeah, but that's no fun. I could get into doing different outfits for the avatar and I'm like, Yes, I want to do this, but I can't do different outfits unless I make the avatar. What if I rip an avatar off the internet or use a program like VROID Studio and do that? VROID Studio, for what it wants to do, does a fantastic job. It's like The Sims, you do a character, blah, 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 fantastic. The mesh that comes out of it. I mean, yeah, you could re-topologize the whole thing and everything, but then you're throwing away all the blend shapes. You're throwing away all that work. The face mesh, the hair meshes, the body mesh, all different. Not made for video games. It's why so many VR chat avatars are god awful optimized. It, it's, it angers me so much. It angers me so, so much. So I was like, okay. Let me look for a good base mesh. And then I was like, oh, I can't find a good base mesh. And then I'm like, oh, and I'm going through Blender and all of this. And I love Blender. I could say so many good things about Blender. But Blender's not dreams. <laughs> it's, it's Blender. And I just forgot how much vertex groups and retopologizing and just breaking stuff up and UV mapping. Oh, I did not miss UV mapping. Because, of course, Freud Studio and a bunch of other people have done this model with, like, a gazillion materials and all separate textures. And, of course, to game optimize, then you really want to get it down to one material with one mega texture, maybe with a few different for, like, normal layers and metallic layers and things like that. That's the, like, sensible thing to do. But no, it doesn't work like that. So... Yeah, it was a crash course. I will continue on with it. But, um, oh God, did it make me want export from Dreams just so, so badly. I was just like, yep. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to take another swing at it. I'm going to be making another character. It's going to happen. It's a thing. I have been nattering on for a solid 10 minutes about Fiatra, but that has been an interesting side project. Anyway. How was everyone's weekend? Let's get dreams up. VR chat is just VR chat is just so much like what I wanted from the future of the internet and the future of VR. 
because they weren't like this when they launched and you know what the difference was they got their UGC tools in order they're still not great the worst thing is you have to use unity there's no non unity workflow to get stuff into VRChat and that's upsetting to me that's very upsetting to me because it means VRChat is tightly bundled to unity and I think that I don't like what that says for their future I need to actually look at what VR chats uh, monetization and what their future things are because part of me one worries that maybe they're not sustainable. Part of me one worries about that, but we'll see how it goes. We may have to do some blender sculpt streams and work through the thing. I think before I fully commit to that part, I think what I want to do is doodle on paper, get some ref, maybe pre vision dreams what I want that base avatar look to be like. So for now, that's going to be me signing off. Take care, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye now.